Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. And you? Okay, good. Ready, ready. Okay. How was the day? Is it good? Okay, fine. Did you practice your English? Yes. Hmm? No. More. More or less. No. No, no, no. More or less. No, I can't believe that. You have to practice your English every day. Okay. No matter what. Okay, no matter what, you have to practice. Uh, have you, uh, do you remember the, uh, there is a link that they give you, they say bookaroo.com? Yes? I think it's this one, let me see. Okay, in that one, there you can, you know, uh, record yourself. You can speak, and after you can listen to to yourself, right? And then this is a, a nice link to to practice, and then you can practice the pronunciation, the intonation, the fluency and anything that is necessary for the language. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay. First, let me. Okay, good. <clears throat> Here we go. Okay, yesterday we were talking about the frequency adverbs, okay, or adverbs of frequency. Okay, and these adverbs, we use them to express a how often we do some activities, okay? For example, how often do you exercise? Okay, Tatiana, how often do you exercise? Um, I sometimes do exercise. Perfect, okay, you see, I sometimes do exercise. Okay, uh, how, uh, Rodrigo Daniel, how often do you go for a walk? But with the intention of walking only, right? Not because you have to walk to, no, the intention of saying, I'm going to go for a walk. How um, often? Maybe, I usually go to walk in the week. Okay, I usually go for a walk, okay? Good, I usually go for a walk is six, five, six days, good. Maida, how often? Maida, you disappear. How often do you go to, how often do you go to the supermarket? Works my 
no sé cómo contestarles. I, I usually, I sometimes, uh, or never. I frequent. Ah, okay. Frequently. Frequently. Okay. Every day. Okay, or every day, okay. I go to the supermarket every day. I go, I go, to, I go to supermarket every day. Every day, okay, yes. Okay, good. So then, or you can say, I go to the supermarket every Saturday, every Sunday, or I usually go to the supermarket. It usually is like one time a week. Okay, good. Uh, Melvin, how often, how often do you go to the disco to dance? To dance out? Uh, I never go to the disco. You never I don't like dance. No, I can't believe that. No, it's good. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, you know, I don't like to dance. Okay, you never go to a disco. Okay, good. No problem. Okay, hey, Johanna. How often do you study English? How often do you study English? Cada que tan seguido estudio inglés. No lo escuché como dijo. Cada cuánto estudia inglés. ¿Cuántas veces en la semana estudia inglés? How often do you study English? I study. Yes. Uh -huh. My study. When? Two, two, one. Yes. Okay, let me check here. How often do you study English? Okay, so this is the question. Okay, cada cuanto estudio inglés. Let's say I always say study English. And then you can say I usually Study English. Okay. Voy a poner I, I sometimes I sometimes study English. ¿Cuál la otra? Remember, I hardly ever study English? I never study English. I never study English. Porque soy muy inteligente. Y todo se me queda en la clase. I rarely study English. I rarely, okay. I rarely study English. Seldom. Seldom. Seldom, okay. I seldom study English. I know how to never, no? never. Okay, entonces aquí estas respuestas son de acuerdo a cada persona, okay? No hay una respuesta, eh, digamos, fija para todos. Lo que sí es, por ejemplo, si alguien estudia, ¿quién estudia inglés todos los días? Always. Okay, okay, no, Gloria Valeria dice yo, dice, yo soy Gloria. Okay. And then uh, Marta Lillian. Always, usually, sometimes, hardly ever, rarely, seldom. What? I always. Always. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, Maria Carmen. 
How often do you study English? Always, usually, sometimes, hardly ever, rarely, seldom, or never. Hi, you can open it often. Often. Okay. Rodrigo Daniel. I often study English. I often study English. Good. Marlene? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Good. Rodrigo uh, Antonio? Sometimes. Sometimes, okay, good. Rafael Antonio? I always, I always study, study English. Good, good, good. Edith, just me? I often study English. Okay, I often study English. Jocelyn? I sometimes study English. I sometimes study English. Ok. Va. Ya vimos entonces que aquí depende si lo hace siempre, generalmente, seguido, a veces, casi nunca, raramente, raras veces o nunca. Okay. Eso va a depender de cómo cada quien estudia. Now, si la estructura, si ven, es la misma. Ok. I always study English. I usually study English. I often study English. I sometimes study English. I hardly ever study English. I rarely study English. I seldom study English. I never study English. Teacher. Yes, dígame. O sea que, al orden que lo ha puesto, el porcentaje, ¿verdad? Eh, mm -hmm. Entonces, siempre iría a rally antes de seldom. Eh, no, estas pueden ir. Lo que pasa es que raramente y el otro es rara vez. Pueden estar aquí. Mm -hmm. No problem. El mismo. Sí. Uh -huh. Aquí no lo puedo decir para no confundirme y que sepan el orden de la estructura de la oración. Pero it can be, esta puede ser interchangeable. O sea, puede ser esta o esta. Okay. Lo único que rarely suena, suena más adverbio que sea raramente. Y el otro dice rara veces. That's the only. Ok. Y el otro acá es how often. Aquí después del do you, pueden poner cualquier acción. Ok, how often do you go dancing? Aquí lo que se les ocurra que quieran saber que tan seguido lo hace arte. Ok, how often do you cook? Ok, how often do you what? How often do you? Read. Okay. Then you can say, for example, how often do you go dancing? I always go dancing. I always go dancing on Saturday. Okay, or you can say, I never go dancing. I seldom go dancing. I rarely go dancing because I don't like it. Okay, I never go dancing because I don't like to go to discos. Okay, I seldom go dancing because I don't have money. I rarely go dancing because I don't like it much. Ok, entonces todo depende de cuál sea su razón de no hacer algo o, o de hacer algo. Ok, so then this is how you're going to answer. This is very personal. Ok, questions? ¿Alguna pregunta? Por el momento no, teacher. Vale, ok, ¿ya lo copiaron? 
yes. que, o le doy un screenshot yes. o un screenshot o algo ahí para que les quede la idea, ¿verdad? De cómo se hace la pregunta. Esto es importante. La pregunta, la estructura, ¿ok? How often do you? How often do you? Ok, good. So then it says by Sam, eh, in this class, how to use adverse of frequency, we're talking about food. Now, if we practice about food, how often do you eat vegetables? Let me see one person here. Gloria Valeria. Yes, how, she... how often do you eat vegetables? Vegetable, no. mm -hmm. I, I often, I, uh -huh. mm, always, <laughs> no sé, mm, I don't know. Eh, siempre, cada cuánto come? Mm, one, one time, no, ¿verdad? Una vez al día, ¿cómo se dice? Ok, día? then every day. Okay, every day, say, sí. ah, oh, yes. Una vez al día dice once I, a day. Once a day. Entonces sería, I often eat vegetables uh -huh. once a day. Ok. Let me see. Here. Once a day. Once es una vez al día. No once veces al día, sino que una. Se escribe once, pero es once a day. ¿Qué quieren decir dos veces al día? Twice a day. Ya de ahí tres veces. Three times. Three times a day. Ya luego four times. Etc, etc, etc. Once, twice, three times, four times. Mejor hay una canción de Lionel Richie, de vieja, que dice, you're one, twice, three times a lady. Ok, esa es una canción que se suena de una, dos veces, tres veces, una vez. Ok, good. Then, eh, let's see who else we have here. Okay, Tatiana, how often do you eat meat? I seldom eat meat. I seldom eat meat. Okay. Elsa Natalia, how often do you drink coffee? I always drink coffee. Very good, Elsa. Very good. Okay. Coffee every day is nice. Okay. Hey, Rafael, how often do you drink wine? How often do you drink wine? I never drink wine. Okay. I like beers. Okay. I like beers. Good. Excellent. Okay. Fine. And let's see who else we have here. Uh, is it Ruth? How often do you eat cheese? Repito la pregunta. How, que no la... Okay. How often do you eat cheese? Ah, uh, always cheese. Always. Okay. Always. I always eat cheese. This is delicious one tortilla caliente, right? Ah, yes. Sí. Hot tortilla, hot tortilla and cheese. Wow. Great. Mm. And, and avocado. Un pedacito de avocado, my goodness. Okay. Good. And then let me see who else. Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Hi. How mm -hmm. often, Stephanie, do you drink milk? Green milk. Milk. Okay, milk. Milk. Leche. Leche. Always. Okay. I always drink. 
mail. Okay, good. Thank you, Stephanie. Eh, who else? ¿Qué más le preguntamos? Ingrid. How often do you how often do you uh, eat? No, how often do you drink orange juice? Um, I sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay, drink orange juice. Drink orange. Perfect. Okay, thank you, Vanessa. How often do you uh, let me see? Do you eat a apple? I always eat apple. I always eat apple. Very good. Hey, Marco, Marco Ramirez. How often? Hey, let me see. How often do you do you eat grapes? Grapes. Grapes. Uvas. Uh -huh. Uvas. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. Um, sometimes eat grapes. Okay, I sometimes eat grapes. Very good, Mark. Okay. Then this is, uh, for example, the, the use of eating how often, okay, and practicing with food. Okay, people, then this one we have. Now they're reading. Okay, here it says reading, eating for good luck. Okay, eating for good luck. How we make this sound? Hi everyone, in this class you'll read an article about special foods. You will also develop skills in scanning and reading for details. On New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round. Round foods end and begin again, like years. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Greeks eat vasilopita, bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes, for strength in the new year. Some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins, and the greens are like dollars. Spain and Lopita, like years. Tangerines are round. Round foods end the new year. Some Chinese people eat tan on New Year's Day. Many people. Okay. Uh, questions about vocabulary? Tangerines, profe, o algo así dice. Yeah, son como unas. Yo creo que son como toronjas. But they are from the same family. What else? What is another word? Only that? Basilopita. 
No oh, alcanzo a ver. Uh, yes, that's, uh, eh, that's the name. Es como el, el fan que venden aquí. Pero es algo, es como el nombre, es la creencia, es el nombre del fan. Pero no es una. Es no como tiene el un, Ajá, no tiene una traducción al español. Es el nombre como, del pancake. Ajá, es el nombre del pan. What else? Jewish custom. Jewish, Jewish es custom. Custom es costumbre y Jewish es costumbre. Una costumbre judía, perdón. Jewish es judía. Jewish custom. Salvadorian custom. Spanish custom. Jewish es la nacionalidad. Okay, listen again. Listen again for the pronunciation. And if you find uh, more words, let me know, okay? People eat special foods for good luck in the new year. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round. Round foods end and begin again, like ears. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Greeks eat vasilopita, bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes, for strength in the new year. Some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins and the greens are like dollars. Okay, that was the pronunciation. Now we're going to do the reading, the actual reading. Okay, here. Okay, Marta Linian, could you please read the first one? It says, some Chinese people. Okay. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round, round foods and and begin again like years. Like years, okay? That is like a uh, like a symbol, right? You say las uh, comidas redondas terminan y comienzan otra vez, al igual que los años, right? It's a circle, circle of life. Okay, so this is a comparison that they make with the Chinese tangerines, okay? Good. Uh, Marlene, read the next one, please. It is a Jewish. Okay. It is a, como se pronuncia? Jewish? Jewish. Jewish, Jewish, custom. Jewish custom to eat uh, a horse with honey for a sweet new year. For a sweet new year. Okay. So that's the, the, custom, okay, the, the belief, esa es la creencia, right? And for the Jewish people, uh, eat apples with honey for a sweet new year, for a sweet new year. Good. Okay, uh, Melvin, read the next one. Greek is Vasilopita. Um, Greeks eat Vasilopita bread with a cone inside. Everyone try to find the coin for love and money in the new year. In the new year. Thank you, Marin. Welcome. Okay, no problem, people, so far. Vamos bien. 
Okay. Yes. Good. Yeah, Tatiana. Yes. Tatiana, read the next one about Spain. Okay. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grades at midnight on New Year's. Even one grade for good, looting each month of the new year. Of the new year. Okay, good. Thank you. Mayra, Mayra Deloyo, number, well, the next one on New Year's. For New Year, in New Year's Day in Japan, people are much right gates for a strange in the New Year. For a strange in the New Year. Aquí vienen una callecita así, ¿no? The right. Price cake. Okay. Hay que hacerlas. Yes. No. Good. Okay, Rafael. Next one. Some Americans. Some Americans from Southern State eat black eyed peas and rice with colored rings. The black eyed peas are like coins and the rings are like dollars. Like dollars. Okay, good. Okay, so these are, you know, different traditions. What tradition similar to this we have in El Salvador, right? In El Salvador, we have the tradition of the grape. Okay, the custom in El Salvador and some Latin American countries. Yes. In this the Latin grape America, uh -huh, is included in El Salvador, the grapes. Uh, what is another? custom that we have for food in El Salvador. Uh, bread with chicken. Bread with chicken, yes. Chicken. Tamalitos, chicken. right, tamalitos. Also, we have some tamales in some families. Atol de lute. Uh, for Christmas. El... Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It, it's pavo? Pavo, the turkey, uh -huh, the turkey. Chicken with bread, uh huh. Yes, turkey. Okay, then you have the bread and the turkey. Uh, Alice, uh, what else? It, um, but traditional from El Salvador. Some people, yes, Spanish, some boy. Yes, uh huh. Bread, uh huh. Yes, say bread with chicken. Yes, some Spanish, some boy, bread and chicken. And then what else? We have our grape, the snacks, right? We have a lot of snacks. Apples. Apple, uh -huh, yes, apples, yes, apples, red apples and, and, and grapes. Yes, that's true. We have the box of the cases of okay. Good. Okay, good. Then, no questions for, about the vocabulary, no more? No. Are we okay? Very good, excellent. Then we have some questions for comprehension. The same instruction, read the article, then select the word that complete each sentence correctly. Okay, here. Then, some Chinese people eat tangerines, and tangerines are what? Brown, sweet, or acid? Brown. It's brown. Brown, brown okay. And, and begin. And, and begin. What about the Yugoslavian? It's funny. Funny. Okay. Honey. 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 Okay, good. And Basilopita? A coin. A coin. A coin inside. Okay, good. Uh, in España, ocupan un baby Jesus, right? In the real, from baby Jesus. Spain. 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 Yes, Spain. And the Japanese? Rice. 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 It rice. Okay. 
coins. Dollars. Coins. Coins. Okay. coins. So American coins. coins. Like coins. money, dollars, coins. 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 Dollars. Dollars. Coins. Coins. Dollars. Coins. Dollars. Coins. Coins. Let's see. Eh, según lo que dice el... Oh, okay, good. Congratulations. So Congratulations, everybody. We got a 10. Yes, okay, all of them are correct. So what we have here, round, honey, coin, Spain, rice, and then we have the coins. 34 points. Okay, so then in general here, we have the food pyramid, okay? Esto es lo que hemos visto acá en la eh, unidad de sección section 4, okay? Then we have, uh, for example, how to express food that you like and food that you don't like. Okay, for example, I like chicken, but I don't like meat. I like meat, but I don't like uh, soda. Okay, talking about things that you like and things that you don't like. Eh, como vimos, eh, by the end of the learn, what noun, how nouns, and non how nouns. Okay, remember the things that have a plural, the things that don't have a plural, Okay, son los contables. Todo aquello que se le pueda poner plural es count. Okay, book, book, pen, pens. Uh, computer, computer, radio, radio. Okay, but if you use something sugar, no sugar. Okay, so it's non count. Okay, and then for example, the expression some and any. Cuando usamos some and any, who remembers that? Some. Mm -hmm. some. some when is uncountable. Uh -huh. And any when we answer negative. Okay, good. Okay, falta algo ahí. Vamos bien. Ahí estamos bien. Eh, Todos son correctos. En question. Ajá. Uh -huh. Any for questions and negative. Okay. Y some for affirmative. Okay. Affirmative. Uh -huh. Affirmative. Y recuerda que okay. some and any se pueden usar para contables y no contables. Okay. Pueden decir some books. We can say some sugar, some coffee, some uh, pens, some uh, houses, and you can say some rice, poco de arroz. Okay, and I'm, but affirmative, some. Most. Affirmative, negative, any, and interrogative, any. Okay? And here you have the count nouns and the non count nouns. Remember, you have, for example, count nouns, egg, egg, sandwich, sandwiches. Okay, and then you have the non count nouns, bread and lemonade. Okay. Hi, everyone. In this hunt for the picnic, no, we need is a noun. Okay, so we have the bread, the lemonade, and you can see here. Any in the question, some in the affirmative sentence, any in the negative, and los non count. Y las mismas palabras, some in any, con affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Allí la interpretación en español o la traducción es la que va a cambiar. Some eggs, unos o algunos huevos. Uh, do we don't need any eggs? No necesitamos huevos. And here we say, yes, let's get some bread. Okay, compremos algo de pan. 
conscientemente en español diríamos compremos pan. O compremos un poco de pan. Right? Then uh, we don't need any bread. No necesitamos nada de pan. Nada de pan. Okay, so then this is bread and lemon. Uh, another topic was los common breakfast food in different countries. Okay, que eso que se come comúnmente como desayuno en diferentes países, right? This is that one and the one that we had in El Salvador. Uh, another one is the adverb frequency. Okay, always, usually, often, sometimes, seldom, rarely. Uh, have you ever and never? And then we have the last vocabulary that we have read about food and customs. Okay, eating for good luck. These are costumbres or tradiciones, right, in the other country. Okay, alguna duda, pregunta? Yeah. No. Okay. No, no. Perfect. Bueno, si hay dudas, recuerden que podemos regresar si luego les surge alguna duda de algo, porque a veces puede. No problem. And then now, we're going to get to the next one, which is by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary related to popular sports in the U.S. And can. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about sports. Okay, pero antes le voy a tomar la, la foto de la promoción. This is a prompt picture. Es como cuando se graduaron, ¿no? Okay, good. Now, let me see here we have. Okay, and one more. Okay, people, thank you very much. That's it. Okay, good. Now we have the uh, sports. Okay, name some sports that you know that we play uh, here in El Salvador. Okay. Soccer. Okay, soccer. Okay. Well, basketball. Basketball. Volleyball. Volleyball, yes. Swim. Tennis. Tennis. Swim. Swim. Football. Swim. Swim. Football. Swim. Football. Football. Okay. Soccer. Mm -hmm. Soccer. Volleyball. Yes. Volleyball. Uh, a squash. Ya le iba a decir uno. ¿Ah? <laughs> ya le iba a decir uno. Le. <laughs> uno. Uh, Golf. Let's do a game. Uh -huh. Golf. Chess. Golf. Okay. Yes. Golf is one. Chess. Uh, chess is similar to Uno. <laughs> Son juegos, okay? Because there are games sí. and sports. Ajedrez, dama. Chef, uh -huh. Chess. Swing. Checkers. Swimming. Swimming. Esta es natación. Swimming. Yes. Okay. Okay, these are the ones, for example, tennis, chess, golf. Well, tennis, golf, squash, swimming, football or soccer, uh, basketball. Volleyball, uh -huh. surf, surfing. Now we do surfing too. Surfing. Um, what else? Uh, bowling. Ping pong. Skate. Skating. Yes, skating. Biking. Quickly, all right. Biking. What else? 
history of trauma. Hiking, yes, hiking is another one. Surfing. Which one? Surfing. Surfing. Surfing, yes, surfing. Jumping. Running. Jumping, 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 jumping. Uh, depends. It's athletism, and then you have the how do you say vaulting? Vaulting is el salto con garrote, it is jumping. Y el otro es por qué es jumping? Por ahí jumping. Eating poposas. <laughs> that's not a sport. That's you know, that's a tradition. No, no, it's not a sport. No, it's a sport. National. Sí, there are competitions. Yes, yes. No lo cuenta. <laughs> yes, it's true. Okay, good. Then, okay, this is the rodeo. rodeo. Cuando están, cuando se ven ahí en Aguilares o en WhatsApp, pero no sé cómo. Sí, no, se ponen sí, a ro rodeo. The rodeo. The rodeo. Lo eh, único que yo no sé si lo consideran deporte, pero sí es este. Yeah. Eh, radio Riding Horse y en los Estados Unidos más todavía es para entretenimiento nada más I guess yo creo que sí ok um, what else eh, bueno y están los games ¿verdad? los games los juegos que dijimos chess checkers las damas checkers teacher eh, y el ciclismo biking biking yes Vanessa biking boxing Boxing. Hay uno que se llama Cibar Poli. ¿Cómo? Hay uno que se llama Cibar Poli, igual a Monopoly, pero es solo de okay. cosas del Salvador. Esos son, por, uh, por ejemplo, dos are board games. Esos son juegos de mesa, board game, Monopoly. Also, you have the. Yes. Cycling, the... teacher. Which one? Cycling. Which one is that? Ah, cycling, cycling. Mm -hmm. Cycling. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mount, there is one that is mountain biking. El ciclismo de montaña. Mountain biking. Y el motocross. Motocross. Uh -huh, that's another one. Okay. Okay, you see, for example, this is vocabulary, right? Vocabulary that we can use when we are. Karate. Oh, karate. Yes, karate. Judo. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, well, uh, in general, in general, you say uh, martial arts, right? The martial arts are, for example, the karate, judo, kendo. Artes marciales. Uh -huh, yes. Then you include karate, tempo, uh, judo, uh, taekwondo, and I don't know, there are many others. Jiu-Jitsu. You, you, you too. Okay, and, and some others, right? All of those are in the same group of martial arts. Good. What else? Now, ahora, veamos lo que nos dice the video, right? Okay, apaguen su micrófono para que escuchen bien el video, ok? Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary related to popular sports in the US and Canada. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. Sports seasons in the US and Canada. In the spring, people play golf and play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, and go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing. Now it's your time to put this vocabulary into practice. I would like for you to describe the sports that you play in different seasons. For example, in the spring, I play soccer. In the summer, I go 
swimming in the fall I play football in the winter I play basketball try to give as many examples as you possibly can think about your family friends and co-workers and the sports that they play after you finish this activity share your work in our discussion forums okay now we're going to check vocabulary again very into practice I would like for you to different seasons. Spring, I place in the vocabulary. Sports season. Okay. <laughs> Here we have the vocabulary, and then we have play ball, play soccer. And in El Salvador, it's different because we can play soccer all the time. In the summer, I go on the beach. You go to the beach, yes. And here, for example, this is according to this country, right? They, they have the seasons, the spring. Aquí tenemos la primavera, right? The summer, en verano. Then you have fall, otoño. And then you have winter, which is invierno. Eh, aquí jugamos todos los deportes todo el año, no importa, right? No todos los de acá, pero sí los que tenemos todos. Okay, in the United States, hay algunos que son de invierno, otros que son especialmente de verano. Right, for example, the baseball is for the verano, right? Uh, tennis, also for the summer, volleyball, and swimming. Uh, spring, con este ahorita fresco y todo, es play ball and soccer. Okay. In the fall and otoño, football, American football, right? Football, bike riding, bicycle, and they go hiking. You run a caminar in the otoño, right? And in the winter, extra hockey, hockey sobre hielo, uh, basketball, because son lugares bien cerrados, right? Uh, ice skating, obviamente, right? Patinaje sobre hielo and go ski y esquiar. Ok, obviamente skin, ice skating. Bueno, el skin no lo tenemos acá. El ice skating a veces montan en diciembre unas pistas aquí para patinaje. Right? Así. Arcadas. Uh -huh. Artificiales, right? Then uh, basketball todo el año. En hockey. Tato de quien nunca practicarían esto. Primero porque es muy caro para mantener una pista de hielo todo el año o, o una temporada. Imagine with this, with this heat, terrible. Ok, questions about vocabulary? Ok, then for the practice. Teacher. Yes. Uh, yo no sé qué quiere decir, que casi no entiendo ahí donde, uh, abajo donde dice go bike riding, <coughs> riding, go hiking, hiking, no, hiking. no entiendo. Go hiking, esto es hacer caminatas. Ir, caminata. Ir, caminata, ajá, cuando uno va a la ah. montaña, uh, ah. a caminar por unas veredas, ok, o something, this is go ah. hiking. Gracias. Ok, ok. Hiking, so, for la práctica eh, y practicar lo, el vocabulario en the, in the, in the answers here, ocupen esa estructura con las estaciones que están ahí, aunque aquí no nunca las vamos a ver. Ok, pero digamos, in the spring, for example, I play soccer. In the summer, I go swimming. In the fall, I play football. In the winter, I play basketball. Ok. Now, I want you to tell me sentences using that structure. Ahora, una oración cada uno, ahí diciéndome, en, escojan uno de estos deportes, una estación del año, and do the action, right? Okay, Macalina, which one would you choose? 
Uh, okay. In the winter, I go ice. No, no, no. Ice, no, 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 no. ice, ice skating. Okay, vamos a ver. Skating. Sí. Es que veo un poco borroso. Sí. Ah, ahora sí. Está mejor acá, está más grande. Okay, okay, then in the winter. In the winter, I go ice skating. Skating. Okay, skating. Good. Good. Eh, Marlena. I the summer in I play tennis. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. In play basket ba, basketball. Okay. In the summer. In the summer. In the summer, I play basketball. Good. Melvin. I play basketball. Yes. Uh, in the winter, I play soccer down to rain. Oh, no yes. sé si así se dice, pero yes. me gusta jugar. No, it's okay. <laughs> under the rain. Good. I play soccer under the rain. Yes. Good. Okay. Nice. Hi, teacher. Okay, Maya. Hi, Maya. Summer, I go to run to the beach. Okay. I in like the summer, the beach. I go running. Okay, in the summer, I, I go, go to run. running. I go running, running to, to, the the okay. to the beach. To the beach. Good. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay, let's see, Johanna. What is your sentence? In the winter, in the summer, in the spring. Perdón. ¿Qué nombre dijo? Ah, eh, Johanna. Ah, uh, mi nombre es. In the spring, play soccer. In the spring, I play soccer. Good. María del Carmen. In the summer, play tennis. In the, what? In the summer, I play tennis. Okay, good. I play tennis. Tati, Tatiana. In the fall, I go by reading. Okay, in the fall, I go bike riding. Okay, good. Elsie? Um, in the in the fall, in play football. In the fall, I play football. Okay, Elsa. Okay. All right, Gabby. Gabriela, could you? Now, Ingrid. Um, in the summer. I play volleyball. Okay, I play volleyball. Very good, thank you. Maria Jose? In the summer, I play skateboarding. Okay, I play skateboarding. Okay, yes. Okay, that one. That's good. Skateboarding is not here, huh? That is good. Okay, good. Then, uh, Glenda? Uh, Vanessa? In the fall, I go hiking. I go hiking. Okay. I go hiking. Yes. I go hiking. I go hiking. Okay, very good. Nice. Okay, this one is for 
Okay, sports and seasons vocabulary, right? Sports and seasons. Remember that in El Salvador, in El Salvador, we don't have. Pues, ¿Qué estaciones tenemos en El Salvador? Tenemos the lesson dry season and rainy season in English. Okay, in English, está como la época lluviosa y la época seca, right? Para nosotros le decimos invierno y verano, en el chico. Okay, and then, uh, but we don't have spring. No hay spring así definido, ni hay eh, fall, right? Aunque las vemos así un poquito, okay? Good. So that's in, that's in El Salvador because it's a tropical weather, okay? Mejor clima del mundo, right? Tropical. Okay, good. What else? No questions? ¿Estamos bien? Okay, entonces esta es la última sección. Todavía nos quedan un par de clases, entonces vamos a aprovechar a hacer más práctica. Creo que para el... Se parece que les mandaron unos mensajes, ¿verdad? De WhatsApp para los documentos. Yo creo que ya tienen que enviarlos para el 26. Tengan al día su plataforma. Eh, nos han pedido que por lo menos... Recuerden que el dos requisitos fundamentales es eh, que tengan la, la plataforma al día, que lleven su las notas arriba de 8 y, y, la y, la, y la digamos y estar en clase todo el día ¿verdad? entonces la presencia ok, es okay eso me quedo que si ¿Sí, bien una pregunta ¿Y qué, nivel, ¿qué nivel sigue? perdón este? este es el principiante 2 ¿verdad? El dos. Sí, vamos al 3 sigue el 3 uh -huh. ok Okay. Eh, mi nombre por cualquier cosa dice que ahorita ahí me preguntaron y se los pongo en el chat es Luis Abraham lleva tilde pero mi teclado ahorita no tiene tilde sí, chef, yo tengo una pregunta Luis Avellano Ajá. dígame usted también. este a mí me mandaron un mensaje que ya estaba el título del ah, el, el diploma del, uh -huh. ajá pero a mí se me hace imposible no retirar hasta el 24, Dan. Eh, bueno, mande una, mándeles una nota diciéndoles eso, o sea, porque sí, o sea, creo que... No puede... ponen ningún número. En la, creo que en el WhatsApp que les mandaron, ahí creo que hay un correo. Uh -huh. eh, y ahí en ese correo dice que ahí hay que mandar toda la información. Entonces, este, póngales ahí en ese correo. Si no, ya lo voy a buscar yo y se lo voy a mandar ¿la? para que lo vean. Por favor. Este, ¿a, dónde pueden, ¿A dónde pueden hacer esas consultas? Porque sí se puede. Y sí, porque ya que... está San Salvador y yo soy de Sonsonate. Uh -huh. No, ahí puede ponerse mi tal fecha puedo llegar y los horarios para que... Pues, pero creo que uh -huh. trabaja hasta sábado en la tarde. ¿eh? En caso de... No, de lunes a viernes, no pues. No, digamos, si usted no puede, tal vez pueden ellos hacerlo. Diciéndoles que va a llegar, lo que pasa es que tal vez a veces lo hacen porque no se aglomera mucha gente. Pero mm. me imagino, o sea que puede haber, tiene que haber una excepción. Ajá. Ok, porque yo necesito, necesito también que usted firme que ha recibido. Toma. Ok. Yes, ¿qué más pronto? Yo, teacher. Sí. Sí. Yes, <ríe> Mire. Dice que yo mandé un WhatsApp diciendo que también no lo podía ir a recoger, pero hasta ahora no me han correspondido al WhatsApp del número donde recibí el mensaje. Sí, que ahí, ahí dice cualquier cosa, escribir a este, a este número de teléfono. Y yo sé que ahí decía de que, quiero ver si tengo yo acá el, el, el ¿cómo es que se yo, llama? Yo quería mandar a otra persona con la foto de mi DUI. Uh -huh. Pero sí que ahí creo que hay un, pero que no que me recuerdo si era un correo. Ya voy a ver. Dice, y aquí dice, eso no solo documentos, solo los documentos que lleguen al correo soporte inglés corporativo.net. Entonces, este, y déjeme, déjeme consultarles entonces, ¿no? Para ver si a dónde pueden Sí, usted, porque yo escribí para... el. Al mismo número donde recibí el, el mensaje. Uh -huh. pero no, de, no me de ese número. Respuesta. No, ahí no le van a dar ah, respuesta. Ahí dice que no. 
Entonces, este, déjenme consultarles entonces para ver a dónde pueden contactar mm. para, otro, para otro tipo de preguntas que no sea el envío de opinión. Ahí, teacher, está el donde lo escriben a uno, uh, Administración de Insafor. Ahí está. Sí, ahí, ahí. Uno les pregunta a ellos y ellos mismos le resuelven a uno ahí. ¿Y el número? Se le puede dar el número. ¿Lo puede mandar ahí al, al grupo para que lo veamos entonces y ahí pueden llamar? Sí, claro. Oh. Ahorita se lo mando. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Eh, yo tengo una pregunta. A mí me enviaron la semana pasada, como el martes, un recordatorio de que debía de asistir a todas las clases para cumplir con el 80%. Uh -huh. Pero yo solo he faltado a la clase del 6 de abril por cuestiones de salud. La primera clase después de vacaciones. Uh -huh. uh, lo único que en esta semana he tenido como inconveniente de internet que me saca y luego uh -huh. vuelvo a ingresar. No sé si por esa razón, quizás cuando tomó la foto yo no aparezco. Puede no ser, sé. pero... Quizás el, por, por podría ser una y la otra es que a veces, aunque tal vez por los minutos, porque la, siempre, aunque sea un minuto que ustedes entren, cuando ellos revisan, aparece ahí, porque los minutos los van contando. Entonces, es que... Yo entro casi regularmente 10 o 5 a las 8. Ajá, entonces puede hacer que esos minutos... No, pero le cuenta partir justo después de las 8, a las 8. Entonces, ah, este... ya. Ajá, entonces, este... Usted entra, digamos, 5 minutos, se los marca, se dos 8 y 5 y se desconectó. Este, ya eso, digamos, puede, puede mandar tal vez algún mensaje para decir que tuvo ese problema, pero para que ellos lo consideren, ¿verdad? Pero ah, sí, bueno. para que quede constancia, pero, o sea, de ahí, digamos, el tiempo se lo van a tomar de acuerdo a lo presencial. Sí, porque, eh, por ejemplo, el día de ayer me pasó eso que me sacó de, sí, o sea, de la plataforma y yo envié un mensaje. Cuando volví a ingresar, revisé en el chat y no aparecía mi mensaje. No, Entonces, en el, sí. Ah, pero en el chat. No, mándelo al grupo. Porque ajá, en el chat, chat. a veces. Ajá. Ver, ¿Al quedan grupo? En, ah, okay. Quedan en el chat, pero queden en la nube y que lo vayan a revisar ahí después de revisar los cientos de videos, no creo que lo hagan. Entonces, mejor en el grupo. Ah, bueno. Sí, uh -huh. Ok, perfecto. Okay. <risa> Gracias. All right. Ok, people, that's all for today. So, have a good night. If you have more questions. See you tomorrow, okay? Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.